the, the whole thing in the military is that it's, uh, we feel like it's a, a huge overlooked problem. Like I said, with the statistics that over 350,000 service members from Afghanistan and Iraq alone have been diagnosed with PTSD. Um, with statistics like that, you've got to think that that service member that's been diagnosed, it affects their family as well. So basically, with their life, you know, that service member that, that knows that's been over there, that lives and breathed and ate and slept in the dirt over there, mm -hmm. that's kind of where it originated from. But we're trying to put a face to it and say that, hey, you know, we're not all crazy. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't make you a crazy person to be diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. It's just some s situations, I guess, now are more stressful than they were before. Um, you know, being at war for 13 years, it changes a person. And then changing that person, you then have changed an entire household. And that's that's the concept. We're trying to put a face to that and, and to get the awareness out there that's not there. I mean, we feel like it's just a, a major overlooked problem. Mm -hmm. And being active duty military, myself, we're me and my wife, we're doing the best we can, you know, as much as we can to try to help. And uh, that's that's the goal, that's the idea, you know, is to raise awareness and raise money. That's it.